Hi, my name is Bjorn and this is a basic Houdini rigging introduction. In this video I'm going to set up an IK leg on a biped character. I'm going to start out with a clean scene. So first thing I want to do is go to file and click import so I can import the geometry I'm going to build my rig on. So I'm just going to import the body of my character. Now in the viewport if I hit space G I'll focus on the object selected. It's a nifty shortcut. I'm just going to import the boots too. And I'm ready to set up the rig. Now in the lower right corner I have two new nodes. Each node represents one of the two pieces of geometry I just imported. So I have two since I imported two different pieces of geometry. Now, just to keep track of what I'm working on, I'm going to select both of them and click the Create Network Box. Now, the Network Box is a nice way to keep track of all of your notes. Now, let's go into Side View by pressing Space and 4. This way we can easily draw out our bone chain. By pressing W on your keyboard, you'll toggle between wireframe and shaded mode. Under the Rigging tab, you'll find a Bone tool. When you click it, you can enter a name for your bone chain, and you can also select what type of chain you're building. I'm going to start out by having no kinematics at all. Notice if you make a mistake, you can go back one step by hitting backspace. Let's put it in a net box for good measure and rename it so that we know what it is. Okay, so if I hit space 1, I get back to the perspective view. And that's when I see that the joint chain is not placed where I want it to be. So let's move it. Now go and select the bone tool again, and select all of the points of your bones, and now you can move them to the side. Like so. Next I want to set up the IK system. I'm going to click the bone tool once again and this time I'm going to set it to inverse kinematics. Now to alter existing bones I have to right click in the viewport and click add kinematics. This way I can add kinematics to existing bones. I do this by selecting the first joint, the root of my IK chain and hitting enter. Then I select the end joint of my IK chain and hit enter. From this we get a goal node and a chops node. I'm just going to drag them into our network box. So to drive the IK chain I simply move about the goal node at this point. It would be nice to have a controller though, so let's try and create one. If you go to the create tab you'll find a circle tool. Create a circle and Let's get it placed at the pivot of our goal. So I'm going to parent the goal to our new controller by dragging the output into the input of our circle. And I'm just going to zero out the circle's transforms as well. So right, now the controller is where it's supposed to be. Now it's not going to work as it is now, so we need to disconnect it again. But if I do that, it'll jump back to the default position of 0, 0, 0. So what I need to do is I need to make sure the checkbox key position when parenting is checked off. So when I unparent it now, it stays where it's supposed to be. Now let's change the look of our controller. Double click on the node of the controller and enter the sub network. In here you can hit tap and create a transform node. With the transform node you can place your controller the way you want it to be placed without changing its world space coordinates.
We can hit tab and type in color. With the color node we can change the color of our controller. In this case I'm going to make it blue because it's the left side of the character. Now let's constrain the IK goal to our controller. Click on the output of our controller and connect it to the input of our goal node. Now turning on shaded mode reveals that our controller does not look like it's supposed to. So let's double click the controller node again and go into the subnetwork. In the subnetwork I'm going to select the circle node itself and I'm going to set the arc type to sliced arc. This will give us a classic controller. You can also draw out your own controller. One way to do that is to create a node, for instance a null node, that can hold your curve. Now, in this node, I'm going to create a curve node. So I'm going to click the curve node and make sure this tool is selected. Now I can start drawing out a curve the way I want my controller to look. If you right click, you can change settings for the curve you're drawing. Once you're happy with it, So that's our IK leg. Now one thing that's missing is a pole vector. So I happen to have a duplicate of the controller I created earlier, and I'm just going to rename it left leg pole vector. In order to set it up as a pole vector controller, we need to enter the chops node. In here you'll find the twist effector. So let's select our pole vector for this connection. You may experience that your chain flips a way to get around this is by entering an IK twist value to get it back in place. A different way to solve the twist problem is to initially parent your controller to the root bone of your rig. And that is an IK setup in Houdini.